learn from reliable sources that JSW Group is in talks to pick up a stake in MG Motor India. We understand that stake could be uh, anywhere under 25%. Let's find out more about this. My colleague Ajay Sharma has been tracking this news for us and he's joining us on the phone line with more details. Ajay, what do we know about this so far? Well, that's correct. Uh, we are gathering from our sources that uh, JSW Group uh, is actually in advanced stages of discussions to pick up a stake in MG Motor India. Uh, they are likely to pick up stake which is just under 25 percent in fact uh, they are also in talks with byd india for business tie-up or some kind of a transaction but uh, compared to byd the, uh, the 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 stages of uh, negotiation are much more advanced with mg motor india the idea here what we understand is that jsw is very group is very keen on ev business and they have been on the public platform to announce that they are keen to scale up four-wheeler EVs and by this transaction they will gain access to technology so EV technology is something which they are eyeing we understand from our sources that uh, MG Motor India business is being valued at closer to three billion dollars and uh, whatever uh, funds which will be raised under 25 percent a couple of thousand crores uh, will be used by MG Motor India in its expansion plans and it is all known that EV, uh, you know, models of uh, MG Motor India are doing very well. They have very advanced technology. So that is what JSW Group is very keen on uh, actually learning and uh, getting uh, associated with via this particular transaction. So we reached out to JSW Group regarding this uh, story of ours and they declined to comment around this. And we also reached out and sent messages to uh, MG Motor India MD, but uh, we did not get any response. But we understand that these are discussions are happening and a deal is likely to be happening and being announced in the next one to two months. Let's get perspective on this about uh, how the markets are likely to uh, digest this piece of news because it's big in the automotive world and perhaps it's a sign of things to come considering that the EV industry like we were talking about at the end of last week as well is growing and it's growing at a very fast pace perhaps even faster than was uh, than what was earlier anticipated. And to discuss this, Mahantesh Sabarad is with us, independent market expert. Good to have you with us this evening, Mahantesh. Now, MG, like uh, my colleague Ajay was saying, is keen on expanding that capacity that they have with uh, a new plant, perhaps. And they're likely to ink this deal with JSW Group in uh, the next two months. That's uh, uh, what we're hearing so far. But how beneficial do you think this is going to be, this kind of deal? How beneficial is it going to be for JSW Group? And are investors going to see this as a net positive for JSW? So let's look at it this way from a purely financial perspective. JSW Group is something which churns out uh, annual cash flows, free cash flows in the range of 15 uh, to 20,000 crore rupees. And if they're going to invest in a company, EV star startup, which is uh, going to be 25% of, let's say, a $3 billion valuation in equivalent uh, rupees crore terms, it would be somewhere around 5,000, 6,000 crores. I really doubt it. They don't generate that kind of cash flows to spare for an EV business. Mind you, they are also <clears throat> uh, having an internal consumption of CapEx in the range of 15,000 odd crores to 20,000 odd crores. So I'm uh, very skeptical about this news flow. Uh, the valuations being talked of in terms of $3 billion for MG Rover seems to be a blue skies kind of scenario. Here is a company which just started four years ago with a 2,000 crore kind of investment would have added um, another um, uh, 2,000 odd crores in terms of both losses as well as CapEx. Uh, so as a balance sheet, probably of a 4,000, 5,000 crore uh, net worth uh, or uh, uh, kind of company, probably the losses would have pulled it down to uh, uh, three 4,000 crores. So I think these are rich valuations that we are talking about. 